Hey guys, listen, we're, we're doing a little project here. We are building a cutting cooler room, or better known as a slaughterhouse. We are laying the foundation today. Uh, show them the, the site, Jeff. All right, we got our poles set up. That's gonna be our I-beam structure. Those four poles, we're gonna come across with a, with a pole, and then we're gonna run the I-beam, and it's laying right here on the ground, but that'll be another day. We'll show you how to weld that up. But we're gonna pour 80, 60 pound bags of concrete into that form. We've got everything ready to go. Let me go up to the work site and let's show you what we got. We got a rebar. The guys have done a good job tying these in. Uh, these were 20 foot pieces. We cut them about 16 feet, eight across. And uh, we got our drains in so we can drain out. Uh, the front side will be where the animal will be slaughtered and the back side will be the cooler. And uh, this will be where we keep him, keep him at about 35 degrees. These were the, these were what we used to tie. You can pick those up at the hardware store and a little tool that goes with it. Makes it really easy or you can just suffer through and do a pair of pliers. Hey, but this did it in I think about 20 minutes. So everything's ready to go. You can see we made some concrete feet at the bottom of these poles. So by the time the foundation's up, one foot of this, it's resting on concrete in the hole, but one foot of this is gonna be covered. And the form is just simply set up uh, this is a two by six, but we set it up with a little foot all the way around, which the guys did a, a great job on. And then these will also act as kind of a foot because uh, we're doing them at the same time. Uh, we got our rebar lifted so the concrete will go under it. And uh, this is three and a half inches, basically the width of a modern two by four, up in the air. And it's eight by 16. And you can go to any place and uh, uh, at websites for these concrete places, and they'll tell you how much you need. All right, let's go. Okay. We got our work crew, Joe's back behind you on camera. John's right here, he's gonna be starting out on our, our wheelbarrow. And then Colton, he's gonna be uh, spreading along with Joe. This is a 19, what did they say, 1952? Something like that. 1952 Sears and Roebuck. It was originally a hand crank. This was a washer motor. That's in there, borrowed it from a friend. I think that's cool. Uh, we got just regular old quick creek. You can use any type of sack creek that you really uh, want, but for foundation, we wanted it stronger. So we've got a bag of Portland right here, and we're gonna mix one extra scoop for each bag into this Portland, and then mix our water up and we're ready to go. So that's it, that's the project. Our Sears Roebuck 1952 mixer has character. It heats up and turns off, but it's working. <laughs> All right, dump. Keep working it to those edges, guys. That's good. All we're doing right here is as it gets scooped in our little square, we're just raking it in these grooves and filling it in as we go. Just keep it nice and smooth. That's the key. All right, what we're doing here, what John's done is just mixing the water into the concrete. We put Two pack, two two shovelfuls of Portland. Just add what you want to it into here. And now we're just making it soupy. It needs to be soupy to be worked with, so they can spread it up on the foundation. You can see where they've been working. They got it around the pole already, the foot, and already been working a little bit with the trowel to kind of smooth it out. And we're trying to work our way across. It's going to be angled. It's going to be. It's higher here than it is at the drain. So it'll be sloping down toward that and in the middle it's going to slope down toward the drain, going to slope up toward that drain and so it'll be kind of two cones in essence, two slopes, circular slopes and uh, that's what we're aiming for so we can get good drainage when we're cleaning, when the blood's draining on the animals, that sort of thing. And so this is a happy work crew. Look at that, he's on his knees begging God for help. Look at that. See, this brings you to prayer. This, this is like a church uh, prayer bench. You see this? Look, you're, you're grabbing on to the altar. This is it, man. This is it. Are you feeling it? <laughs> all right, we got Joe and Colton up here working the concrete. What we're doing is uh, move it all the way to the edge, guys, so that the, the board doesn't cut into the concrete and it's just on the drain, kind of like the center of a clock. All right, they're working the edge. We want This drain was set about an inch below the form, 
And so it's pushing that concrete that way, and it's getting it smooth along the edges. That's good, Joe. We're going to bring you another load of concrete. Work this other side over here, guys, and get it a little smooth. Uh, Y'all need to kind of switch sides. Uh, Joe, you can work the drain, let Colton on that outside. <laughs> All we're doing is we're laying it across these forms right here. Go into the drain that's set about an inch and a half below, and that's going to make our slope so all the water will run in. We still work it with a trowel a little bit. Nothing fancy. It is a cutting room, okay? Not going to have tile on it. That's going to be it, but they're doing a good job. We are looking at an 8 by 16 slab with drains, plain, and graded off so it'll, it'll drain. Joe's doing the last bit of touch up on the smoothing trial and how many hours now been here since 8 30 and it's two so six hours basically we got this thing laid and poured in six hours this is where we're gonna let this thing sit now for about a couple of weeks and let it get all done so anyway good job guys about 5, looks good concrete. yep we had uh, yeah we had uh, their calculator missed it their calculator missed it on the quick crete side site uh I guess we needed about another five or six bags, and so we have one left over, so about four bags more. So if you're doing your projects, uh, do uh, do at least a five-bag overage. Well, they gave you four bags over, so do two right. bags over. Well, no, I'm saying, but but I'm just saying, whatever you, they say, yeah. add five bags for every, say for every 80 bags, add five. Yep. Uh, that's what I would do, and uh, you'll be fine, I think. And so it worked out good. Add your Portland to it. It'll be good. Uh, calculator's close, but not precise. That's what we find. And so uh, anyway, this looks really, really, really nice. Listen, let's have, let's have a word of prayer, guys, huh? Yes, sir. Woo, Father, we do thank you for the day. We thank you for uh, just opportunity to do some good work, good, uh, good construction, and just pray you bless this little cutting house, cooling room, slaughterhouse for many years to come. We thank you for just a good day, good time with friends. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, let's thank go you get. For what Bubba's gonna taste like. Hey, that's right. <laughs> we'll have we'll have us a we'll have us a meal. I don't see him out there. We'll see what long uh, one tastes like. Oh, there he there. is. Yeah, we'll see what long one tastes like. That's right. He's gonna be going. Get ready. <laughs> he's gonna be going first hey, into, Bubba. The, into the room. Hey, boss. There you go. That's a good-looking cow right there. That's a steer and a half. Let's go get us some lunch, guys. Awesome. All right.